Hey guys, welcome to Tismania TV. Today I am going to do a very simple DIY for you and that is a t-shirt transformation. So I'm using this, this is one of my husband's old Black Sabbath t-shirts. So it is a little bit oversized on me. Which is perfect for this look, but you can use a tighter t-shirt if you want as well. Let's get started. What I'm going to use for this is a pair of fabric scissors, a ribbon of some kind, and I'm going to be using black satin ribbon. This is 15 millimeters wide. I'm also going to be using grommets and my grommet machine. This is the size grommets that I'm going to be using. And you don't have to have a grommet machine to be able to put grommets in a t-shirt. Thin fabrics like this, you can buy one of those very, very simple little like hand pressing grommet machines in most sewing utensils shops. The first thing I'm going to do is cut off the sleeves. And I'm not going to cut them off straight like this because I want this to be sort of like a razor back. So I'm going to cut them almost all the way up to the neckline. And then in order to mimic that perfectly on the other side, I'm going to use the piece that I just cut off and just mirror that. And then I'm going to cut off the neckline. And I actually want these to be even thinner, so I'm just going to adjust so that the straps become really thin. What I'm going to do next is cut open the side seams, or cut it off rather. I'm also going to cut off the bottom hemline. Next I'm going to try it on. So yeah, it looks like I won't need to cut more off. So I'm taking it off again. Before I start adding the grommets, I'm going to cut two slits like this. And I'm going to flip it and do the same in the back. In the back, I'm going to move a little bit closer out to the side and I'm not going to cut as far up. And then I'm just going to start adding grommets up and down both sides of all the slits and the sides of the t-shirt as well. All the grommets are now in place and it's time to do the fun stuff, which is adding the satin band. And in order for the band to go smoothly through the tiny little holes, I'm going to be using this safety pin that I'm just going to be attaching to the end of the band and then like work my way through. And as for always, when you're working with satin, in order for the edge of the band to not open up, I'm just quickly going to hold it into a flame and then it shuts so that it won't tear. So I'm gonna do that for all edges. And then I'm gonna start on this side. Now all of these grommets might not be used with the band. I might leave some of them just for decoration. And I want the back to be a little bit longer than the front. So I'm gonna adjust a little bit accordingly. I'm gonna start with the ones at the bottom so that that's where the ends stop so that I can tie everything together down there. Once you've gone through all the grommets that you want to use for the ribbon and tied the ribbons and sealed the edges with a little bit of fire, you're done. Mary Kushner's responsibilities, diplomacy with Mexico, with China, with Canada, uh, he went to Iraq. If you don't like the look of the ribbons, which I kind of don't, it's a little bit too cute for me, you can actually just use a shitload of safety pins 
to attach the grommets to each other. I really prefer this look. That is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. All questions go in the comments, please. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.